Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. See other people as they are. When you see other people as they are, without taking it personally, you can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if the others lie to you, it's okay. They are lying to you because they're afraid that you will discover that they are not perfect. Uh, so you gotta think about that one, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 132, NASDAQ off 60, S&P's off 19, gold contract trading down $8.60 at 18, 16, 18, 17 an ounce. We have silver up nine cents, twenty-four dollars eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck ninety-six, seventy-seven dollars thirty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: the ten-year note flat one fourteen twenty-five. The thirty-year up two ticks at one thirty-one oh nine. And king dollar, king dollar trading at uh, down three seventy-seven, three hundred seventy-seven ticks, one oh six. King dollar. One, oh, I'm sorry, one oh three five nine eight. Euro is at one oh six. Not the, the yen's at 135 and the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So we get over to the spy, we take a look at it. We'll see if this is going to shake out, um, you know, the next, uh, you know, about 60 minutes. Uh, Powell's probably still speaking. He's got about another 15 minutes of speaking. Um, you know, bottom line, you had a failure out here yesterday. Once you get a failure out here yesterday, you can't get the traction out here today. Bottom line, that's saying it's going to the bottom of the consolidation. You know, so what the Fed did out here, folks, is this. If you, you know, so we went up 50 basis points. The Fed is saying now, and this is where you want to really wrap your head around this a bit, that at the end of 2023, we're going to be at 5.1%. Now, what they also said is that, that that number is a half a percent higher than it was when they basically reported this, uh, not the last quarter, six months ago, okay? So he's hedging himself, meaning Powell and the Fed are hedging themselves in the context that, yes, that number could change again. I think the biggest thing that he, as, as, as people, as, tra as traders, as investors, whatever, that you want to wrap your head around is this. They're not kidding about bringing inflation back to 2%. If you heard the statement, what happened is this, folks. He was talking to the American people first. And he said specifically, before I read this statement, I'm going to talk. And what he was saying specifically was that, yes, this is tough. Inflation is outrageous. People are having a hard time. And he was explaining that because he has to, he was explaining the context that if inflation keeps going, well, I'll be broke. That's the bottom line, okay? That, to me, what he was saying there is telling me flat out, man, I don't know how they're going to get to 2%. I don't even get it, okay? Because, you know, maybe we get to 2% if you if you just hold rates at, you know, 55 and, and we go up to 7.5, and, and we do that for four or five years. But bottom line, right now, he's saying that that's where it's going to be, you know? So we'll see how it shakes out. You know, market-wise out here, you get a flat market. You know, we'll see how... Uh, the market itself basically gets used to higher rates. As one of our targets is saying in the den, the next thing that we're all going to be looking at is that, okay, we have higher rates. Well, the bottom line is that uh, companies making money in, with higher rates in 2023 because we know that what moves equities, folks, is earnings. That's the, that's the bottom line. You know, Of course, there's more buyers than sellers. You, it's going to go higher. More sellers than buyers, you're going to go lower. But end of story, that's us for traders. End of story, it is making money and growth that send equities higher. Dow right now turned positive. We're up at 23. Says he probably finished. They're up 23. The comp, uh, NASDAQ is up 7. S&Ps are up 3. No, no big deal. I uh, kind of all around there. Um, dollar, though. Let's go to the dollar because the, it, it, this correlation with the dollar in the market is pretty amazing. The dollar just gave up 200 points, 200 ticks, rather. And as the dollar gave up 200 ticks, guess what? That was enough for that market to say, okay, man, I want to go higher. So what the dollar is doing out here is that, you know, you can just see what just happened. If we take a look at this, the dollar just went from 104, 160 to 103, uh, 539. And we'll see, you know, if this is going to hold, where are we going to go with it? Some of the higher volume equities out here today, 
If we take a look at the market in general, you get Tesla down. Uh, Tesla's a huge ABC down, too, by the way. That's down another $2. That's trading out at 153 We have uh, Facebook's up 250 You have uh, Plug Power up a buck twenty four. What is this up 17? Oh, Moderna's up 17. Yeah, that's going to be a, they're, 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 there's a they're talking about a Moderna Merrick uh, cancer vaccine combination. Um, and this is for let's see, what was this for? Yeah, so for skin cancer, which is huge. And in this particular case, uh, this is it seems big. It seems like it, it cut it by 44%. So you're talking a very large number out there, that's for sure. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You have Moderna up 9%. You got uh, DocuSign up 4.7. NetEase up 4. Take it away from it. Charter Communications, man, down 15%. That's a hit. You got Match, uh, match Group down uh, 3%. Lucent's down uh, 2.4. Let's go back to Charter for a second. Let's see what's going on here because you got an equity that's down 15% in one day. Oh, look at that, man. Holy cow. Okay, so now I'll bring this on a weekly. Yeah. Wow. This just couldn't do anything. So, not that it has a high volume low. It must have one somewhere. Right there. Yeah. I guess it's going, that's going after 302. That's pretty intense. There's no doubt about it. When you go, when you wake up in the morning and be down 15%, that says quite a bit. Dow. Dow Industrials right now, let's see, inside the Dow, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. I suspect Microsoft's going to be up here because Microsoft has been moving. So you got, uh, yeah, uh, Home Depot's number one. That's putting 19 positive points. Microsoft, 19. Visa, 15. Boeing, 14. Taken away from it, you got uh, Goldman, minus 28. You got uh, Amgen, minus 17. American Express, minus 8.5. So... Uh, bottom line is that it looks like uh, we'll have a flat market out here. You know, the market is trying to grab back what it lost uh, on the initial uh, jolt. And hey, we'll see where it goes. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 25, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's up three and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>